So let me give you a hypothetical. I want you to imagine a six mile long stretch of water. This water is straight and level and does not flow. Advance on plus takes hold. You find the true friend things are. So let me give you a hypothetical hypothetical hypothetical. I want you to imagine a six mile long straight stretch of water. At each end of this straight stretch of water is a bridge. Point A, so you've got two bridges. Point B. This water is straight and level and does not flow. At each end of this water is a bridge. Point A, point B. At each bridge, there is a plumb bob hanging down to the water. We are on the road. Even altitude. Suspending judgment until the truth is known. You will find. Let me give you a hypothetical. In the midst of all these troubled souls. Now, on these vertical strings, can you imagine an even altitude? A point at an equal height above the surface of the water below. Advance on plus takes hold. An even altitude. You'll find the truth from things of old. And on these vertical strings, can you imagine two points? So let me give you a hypothetical. Can you imagine point A and even altitude? At these points and point B. And on these vertical strings, we can establish a perpendicular and even altitude. And call one point A and the other point B. Two points. Point A, point B even altitude. We are on the road. Two points. Suspending judgment until the truth is known. Point A. You will find peace within. Point B. In the midst of all these troubled souls. The point at an equal height above the surface of the water below. Point A. Even altitude. Point B. There's no end game in my. Is the shortest distance between those two points. It's only the truth that we seek to find. We know the shortest distance. And there's no end game in my. Between two points is a straight line. It's only the truth that we seek to find. Now, here's the question I'm asking myself. How can the distance between these two points be anything other than horizontal? Horizontal. Horizontal. Everyone must see it for horizontal. The truth two is points. there for you to find. And then think about, ask yourself, and, and the water. Fuck that up. Well, he's a lawyer that doesn't know that astrophysics is not a science. Yeah, but there's a lot of people that are running around here claiming science and they don't they have no knowledge of what natural science is, so it's basically well, it's it's fine, whatever. It, it you know, come in here, you you know, you try to dip your toe in the water of debate and see how you fare, it always winds up the same. They they run away. They don't want to answer the question. They pat themselves on the back, little secret kings, and then they, they're off in their own little world preaching their dogma. <clears throat> it's like, dude, you have no knowledge yeah. of the thing you're speaking of. For example, know. for example, at uh, University of Chemistry, uh, learning in environmental engineering, you're supposed to learn all the engineerings, the generalities of all engineerings that are out there, because you will be the engineer who actually uh, investigate all the factories, manufacturers, and you investigate if they comply um, 
with the rules of uh, society, uh, government, laws, everything in regards to pollution, to whatever. And as a lawyer also, you need to know uh, generalities of uh, all the scientists and experts in the domain. I'm not so sure work. that's true. Yeah, well, how can you defend someone uh, if, if you have no clue um, about the job that he's doing? <clears throat> okay, so um, I was looking at the equation sent by Donato. The, the issue I find is this equation does not accurately represent the, the eight, eight inches per mile square that you've, uh, that you've tried to, to say is the curvature of the Earth, right? That's the first problem. That's not the right equation for that. It doesn't, it doesn't do yeah, anything. You can't, like in, you can't hold say on, that eight hold inches because they on, went hold hold over on. it last night. They did an entire show on it. Yeah, they well, know. Whatever, eight whatever, you, whatever you did it would be wrong. Eight inches per mile squared is completely incorrect. Uh, the reason it is because a, a, a square um, indicates a parabola. Parabola. Do you know what a parabola is? Nobody wants to argue with you, dude. You're just too dumb at this topic. Do you know what a parabola is, though? Like really, man. Well, Dude, I'm they did an entire team. show on it last night. I would refer you just back because you did to a show, a show, show last it. night. It would be able to go through it much more in depth than anybody could here. But yeah, you're right. The eight inches has gone. Okay, so you so you you disagree that the eight inches per mile square is actually valid. You're you're saying it's not valid. Me. I don't do fantasy maths, eight, mate. I'm saying, saying last saying? night, last night, the Flat Earthers, QE, Nathan Oakley, Brian's Logic, all of those guys did an entire show where Adam presented how the eight inches per square mile is wrong. Right. I think. So it is wrong. Perfect. The conclusion that. that they came to. Okay, we agree on that. The eight inches per mile squared is wrong. So wh why did you present dude. it to me? Why did you present it to me? Who? Nobody presented that to you. I don't think they uh, did. I think that uh, might have been Jedi. Well, I tried did. to tell him. Yeah, go on. He's saying it's wrong because it's not a globe. Well, the eight inches per mile squared does not actually tell us anything. That it's not about a globe. The eight inches per mile squared is a wrong equation to try to calculate the curvature of the Earth. If you try to use it to calculate the curvature and then derive conclusions about it, such as what's, the, what's the new one? The have you got one? Have you got a new one? Uh, Faith, yes, the actual. Needed. Well, well, the actual equation would be h equals r minus r close uh, close or cos. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, parentheses s divided by two r uh, close parentheses. That's the actual equation. equals. Did you say? I didn't. I never said figure in that. There's. I didn't say a number except two. No, I but thought that you would said be... eight equals. I thought that's how you started it. What no, did you I say? I said h. I said h. The letter h. H. Okay. And what's h? What's that? What is that? Height? Oh, uh, yeah. The height of your stick. Uh, of, a, of a stick? Yeah, yeah. You, you measure an angle at the top of a stick. An angle on a stick. Uh, commonly called uh, Alberuni. Right? You've just took the H derivative of the Alberuni method of the angle on a stick. What you're doing there is working out the height of the, the size of your stick. I don't know a single word you just said. He's saying this is your first day and you should stop. Okay, well, I just I gave the actual, the actual the actual the actual equation. You can do with it as you please, but that's the actual equation to calculate the curvature here. It actually gives you an accurate uh display accurate results that is it's been this about four years ago. You, what did you say with that? Fight the flat earth said, look at the size of him there. Whoa, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Um 
Uh, H equals R brackets 1 minus cos A close brackets. That's the perfect math. And I was given it at least 40 years ago, that. That is not what I said. That's not the equation. Do you want me to repeat the equation? For it's you? the perfect mass. That's the one that will take over uh, the eight inches thingy. That fight the flat earth did it ages ago. Oh, oh I think that's so what Adam that? was having a go at last night. Is that the sort of thing that you're going for? Wait, repeat what you just said, the equation you just said. It's in the uh, live chat. Oh, and sorry, the, uh, the voice chat. Okay, let's find the it. The text channel there. Fight the flat earth. The perfect that he was back then. That was so long ago. I don't know. That's fucking ages ago. That. Yeah. Me. Bev, try thinking. Where is it? I can't find it. There are a lot. I don't you want to see a photo of a fat, one of them pale, ghost-looking guy. You can't, like, you can't possibly can't... in law school, dude. Fuck, man. I'm sorry. You're I can't find what you posted. I'm dumb for this shit, man. There's... I cannot find what you posted. Oh, I see it. I see it. H equals R. Parenthesis one minus cosine a parenthesis. Okay, so what is that supposed to be? That's the perfect mass. That's the one that takes over from your eight inches per mile squared thing. Okay, so this is supposed to calculate the curvature of the Earth. That's what that's what I said. Yeah, like the flat Earth okay. told us. Could you explain how that does? How that does? I haven't got a clue. It? I say I don't do fantasy maths. But I'll leave that it. to uh, people. I mean, to me. Really, all you've got is an angle, isn't it? You've got cos A. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's somebody that doing right. something with an angle to work out a height of a stick. I mean, to me, it's fucking ridiculous. It breaks the rules of uh, logic, geometry. But, hey, there's a lot of people doing that, isn't there? Okay, so... Yeah, that's, what, what that's not mine. I think did Adam did something it? last night to verify it-ish. Well, the issue is uh, Adam isn't here to corroborate. Uh, the Earth is round. This channel needs to be nuked. This channel needs to be deleted because what you just presented is complete nonsense. That equation makes literally no what sense. Earth it's presented it's it. arbitrary. It's completely arbitrary. There's no context behind it. You can't even explain what these uh, these variables actually mean. You, you put a label called the perfect maps, and then. You know, yell, go around saying the perfect math is eight e equals r, blah 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 blah. How does that That's mean, you so ironic. You're in fl he's flipping it on Bev, and and Bev is you just can. showing what a globe. But that is so funny, dude. You put a random dude there with a globe work behind him with satellites that's orbiting. Like, what what the hell is this? I'm so confused as what the what this is actually supposed to show. Dude, give you up the lawyer and go to trade you school, man. You know what they you know say, like, fact, if you're not like, smart, you, you better be about? strong. <laughs> yeah, give up the lawyering, take some basic reasoning courses. Avi, uh, you, you, you every single I, don't want to hear I hope you could bench like 300 or something, because if, if you're not smart, you got to be strong in this world. So <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're not football? smart. Did you get a football scholarship or something? Like, what's up, man? I did not get a football scholarship, no. Yeah, but that's got... beside the point. Uh, so every yeah, single yeah. equation you Keep, keep, keep so your eyes thing... on the thing there. Keep your eyes on the thing. Can, has it got a year? I don't think it has. Uh, that yeah, was yeah. back when Fight the Flat Earth before he lost that account for hateful conduct. That was his old original account. You know, hateful. Um, these, but it says there at the top, be, yes, wait, the perfect these, math is H equals R brackets. One minus okay, why I, is it the perfect it's not hard. The curvature? And well, I said, what's H? Map? And he said, observe a height, which is exactly the same as what you said. Right, so... So you're working out for the observer height, aren't you? Your, okay, your explain, entire okay. calculation works out your height. Now, is that your height of I? Or is it the height of your feet that you're standing on? Because that sounds m amazing for you to be able to do a calculation through maths to work out what elevation you're at doesn't it sounds impossible but seems like your h derivative of your formula is doing exactly that right no but what you just no? said was complete and utter nonsense let me ask you again when you say H equals R parentheses one minus cosine A, like the flat, when fight the flat Earth says that, 
Okay, so you believe him, though. You think, you think that's the actual calculation or the equation? No, no, I, I say it's fantasy maths. I don't deal with any of that sort of stuff. So I only don't deal believe with the reality that. stuff. Yeah, I say it's impossible for you to have a formula that works okay. out how high you are from measuring an angle. Yes. He's telling okay, you what, okay, can one you of the then best cal can you still calculate the curvature is giving of the you that math, dude. One of the best globe debaters is giving you that math. It's not a problem. Well, I didn't say debater. Okay, can I'm you, sorry. Can you, still, I, I can you still calculate the curvature of the Earth if you don't believe in fancy? What you, fancy what, can you just explain to me what you mean by curvature of the Earth? Well, you brought up 1.22 times the square I, no and that wasn't me you were distance. dealing with somebody else back then this, 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 we oh, were on who, a different conversation now this is this is keep oh, on okay, track okay, okay, can get, you get, just get, explain to us what you mean by the curvature of the earth uh the earth being curved like what do you want me to say about that well like um like the land like a like a mountain a hill is a curve a, gra a gradual curve or like a you know, an inverse curve. What's what sort of a curve? What do you mean? Do you, do you know what a tennis? A do, you know what a, do you know what a ball looks like? A ball. It's that. Yeah, it's that. That's how the yeah, earth. Looks spherical like object. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what the earth looks like. Right. So, what would you do that? You you would you would explain that curve right of the ball by either the diameter or the radius, wouldn't you? You actually you measure the diameter. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you could do the circumference as well. Yeah. So is yeah. that what you mean when you say Earth curve? Do you mean the radius or diameter? Well, no, the radius and the diameter do not. That would be curve. ridiculous, uh, wouldn't it? Of uh, a hill, or uh, circumference would. Mm -hmm. So, are you saying where the Earth, I'd say, the hill or the, you know the land, where that curves, wouldn't be the Earth curve that you're talking about, would it? Because that could be measured as elevation changes, couldn't it? What? No. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> the curve of the earth that is a hill or something, like the earth, it's a land, you put crops and stuff in it, right? Yeah. That curve of that earth can be measured. Yes, you can, you can measure the curve of the earth, yes. Okay, well, there you go then. That, that, well, that would be a, a series of elevation uh, changes would be suffice to um, give you your... Earth curve measurements, right? Uh, well, you wouldn't be measuring the um, like the elevation changes. You, would. the you wouldn't be measuring the actual like the individual hills and mountains are causing changes in elevation depending uh -huh. on where you are. That would be a measurement of the curve that you just described, though, right? No, would that not would fulfill not. the requirements that you were asking for? Well, please re define Earth curve so I would be able to give you the measurements that you're asking for. Okay, so you you know what? A, okay, let me let's start again. All right, there's a ball, right? That ball has a circumference. Well, starting off, well, we you've already said it's a ball, right? It's a think, you well, know what a circle. It's a constant like? curve, then, right? There we go. Yeah, it's, constant, yeah, exactly. constantly curving. Yes. Yeah. Well, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything, does it? It certainly does. It doesn't stop curving. It keeps curving until it gets back to where it started okay. and it just keeps going again. It's not okay, like right. it's moving. Can I, like, it's like yeah, can I give you a, a little short, quick uh, modus tollens? Sure, go ahead. I, I think I already saw this, but, you know. If the Earth is a spherical object, like a ball, mm -hmm. yeah? then uh, the surface of liquid water must curve constantly. Yep. Right? Surface of liquid water at rest has to curve constantly. Yep. Gravity. Okay. There's a, a tool called a water level that we use, and it establishes a horizontal plane of reference. To your perception, yes. So there's no curve to a horizontal oh, plane of reference. Well, on the Earth, there's a curve, even though it appears to be horizontal. So, well, it, it horizontal doesn't curve. It appears to be horizontal, but it still curves. Okay, so you've got two choices here, right? As far as I can see. Um, it's not horizontal. The water level, 
the water level isn't a tool that establishes a horizontal plane of reference, or a horizontal plane of reference actually curves. The which one are you going to go with? Horizontal. Which, which the is the more is favorite? Horizontal. The water is not horizontal. The water is the water. curving according to the gravity of the earth, according to the shape of the earth, because water conforms to the container or the um, thing it's on, the surface it's on, right? So because okay. of gravity, the water will curve according to how the earth is formed. Okay, what about So you perceive it as said, horizontal, but it's not actually horizontal. Well, so it, it is or it isn't? Or no, both. you perceive it as such, but it's not actually horizontal. Well, it's described as such, isn't it? You can describe something that is still inaccurate. as such. It's inaccurate. If you can any, define something that's reason inaccurate. reason why you want to make a, a water level tool inaccurate? No, I'm saying you can perceive and describe water as being horizontal, but that description and that perception would still be, in a, in a, will be incoherent with actual reality. So if you're, if you're at sea level and you look at, at a beach and you look at the, uh, the ocean, it will appear horizontal. But if you go high enough, you will begin to see the water curving according to the earth. That will be a, a change in perception. You will first perceive it as horizontal, but because it's not actually horizontal, you will see it curving. That's what, that's what that means. There's a difference between perception and reality. Where's that then? Where's what? what perception what, and what, reality. Okay, so, what, perception, uh, so perception, perception can conform to reality. For example, if I look outside and I see people walking, there are people walking. However, if I'm hallucinating, I can perceive something. It sounds like you're hallucinating reality. right now, mate. I don't know what you're arguing for. Do you, <laughs> realize, saying, what, well, do said, you, you said, realize what you're doing right now, man? Do you? No, I'm said, saying that just because you, you see water being horizontal does not mean it actually is horizontal. This comedy gold. Get out, dude. <laughs> what do you say? Because you see it, does oh my god! This is the most disingenuous argument I've heard all week. Not day, just week. <laughs> you say it's not an argument. Sounds you're like saying, a pretty simple you're saying that, to me. Are, are, are you saying that because you go outside, you see the earth or the water being horizontal, that it actually is horizontal? It's just an argument, mate. You're the yeah, one. It's that's a wrong argument. Saying it isn't. It's yeah, a bad. It's the argument. wrong argument. It's a bad wow. argument because you're saying that just because you perceive something, that means it actually is. Do you think it's not just your rebuttal that's uh, bad? What about okay, your three point me, rebuttal, okay, little bit? Describe to me how my rebuttal is bad. Oh. Well, it, we're just saying that a water level is a tool for establishing a horizontal plane of reference, and that's what you're denying. Okay, put that in reality. Give me an analogy. A, a reality, water a level re real is analogy. a tool for establishing a horizontal plane of reference in reality. Okay, so you it's walk the most into a accurate and you tool see, for doing okay, that. Okay, okay, hold on, fact. hold on. This, that's the problem. I'm saying that's an issue. And I've, just, I've demonstrated how this is It might be for you. Issue. It's no issue for me, mate. Well, that's because you deny reality. You go outside. No, no, I've, onto a beach, I've done the test. Okay, what test did you do? The, um, to make sure that a straight line lies within a plane. It's uh, Proposition 1, Book 11, The Elements, Euclid. Solid geometry. We um, did a test. We've done a few of them uh, called Realizing Euclid, which, in which we, we get the geometric properties of geometry and relate them to reality. Okay, but that's not a test. Well, you're you're test just going uh, not that. Apparently, well, you don't ask for the test that you did. What, did you, what test did you do? It's realizing Euclid. I told you to make right, sure that, that a straight line lies within the plane. Right, what is that? Uh, we Tell use we used series of water levels. How did you do that? Oh wow! Um, I, I don't think we can go over it here. It's going to be uh, placed okay. in a video and done all of that. But um, yeah. J Geometric test in reality. Okay, so you, you can claim you did a test, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know if you did or if you didn't, but you can't even verify or corroborate or even detail to me what that test actually is. So well, I will make, using I, the I, principles I of water levels. We we use right, water you're levels. You're using you're using you water levels. Geometric elaborate test, on yeah. how you did that. Elaborate on well, how you did that. A water level is a tool to establish a horizontal plane of reference, which means that 
both of the points or the two points at either end are at an equal elevation. Okay. Right. Now, you can use those properties of an equal elevation being a straight line between the two of them uh, to proportion all of these water levels and okay, use it so, geometrically. Okay, so how did you do that? How, how did you test for that? It's, it's been well documented. Did it two years ago. I'm sure it has been. Tell me yeah. about it. Right, well, you use geometric principles that uh, what are those principles? no two straight lines can share a common segment, right? What do you mean by segment? <sighs> what do I mean by segment? Uh, yeah. Portion. No, I'll say it again. No two straight lines can share a common segment. Do you know what a segment is? Yes. Okay, so tell me what a segment is. When you get two lines and they mm -hmm. share a common segment, it becomes one line. Okay. You cannot have two lines sharing a common segment. That okay. is a segment. Okay, so you cannot have two lines sharing a common segment. Got it. What, what, what's, uh, how did you test? Continue with your uh, description. Well, you get two water levels, don't you? Right. Two water levels. What is this water level? And when you tested this, what was your you water level? You don't know level? what the water level is. Yeah, you're very... Um, you no, no, you said you it. tested for all this. You, you tested for all this. Yeah, what did you it. use as a water level? Go ahead, explain what the water levels were. Water level. 400 meters. Okay. Was this like Four a lake? Rights. Was it an you ocean? What are we talking see, about? Like, you see, you don't know what you're talking about at all. So I'm you're asking you ill equipped, you're unprepared. Um, it's I'm obvious. It's obvious that I'm going to have to go back to first principles on the entirety of the whole thing. Uh, for I'm people like you, so we'll sort that out and we'll put it in a video form. Okay, so you said you tested for all this. Explain it simply. I'm asking yes. you. In in science, when you do an experiment, you detail your experiment through um, what's called analysis. You create a report detailing how you perform your test, and people can peer review this test and you know make their own conclusion about the test. You yeah. claim to have done a test. Yeah. And you you mentioned you had two water levels. Yep. Yeah. What are the 400 water meter um, water levels? Okay. Now, was it, describe what did these these water levels look like? What were they? The tubes. Okay. Right, with water in them. Okay. And where did you place these tubes? Dead technical. We are all of future tech. Where were these tubes? Where did you place them? What did you do with them? Um, we placed them along the side of a canal. We had to make sure we were level, right? Because right. Uh, you don't want to be um, water spilling out, do you? Mm -hmm. And then you place them in a way that you can use the geometric principles of a uh, shared straight line segment uh, okay, to so prove they... that the line geometrically is straight. Now, see, this is the problem, right? There's uh, Fight the Flat Earth, the guy that we just did the H thing earlier. He said that you can't have proof, right? There's no proof in science, right? If there's any proof... It's pseudoscience, right? So what we're talking about here is geometric proofs in reality. So this okay. isn't for the globe, definitely, right? There's no proof in science. You're going to be calling this uh, pseudoscience if you go with Fight the Flat Earth and all of that. But this is just basic geometric principles, basic geometric principles performed in reality to prove I mean, you just, that you the just straight line lies within the plane. Okay, so let's let's go back to your 400 meter stuff. You took tubes, two tubes to be exact, and you placed them, were they parallel to each other? Were what parallel? The two tubes of water. Yeah, you don't really know what a water level is, do you? No, I'm asking, I'm simply asking a question. You took two tubes filled with water, and yeah. you placed them parallel with each other on a canal that you claim was completely I, I, leveled. Um, I guess you could say that the uh, the levels would be parallel. Yes, but I mean, uh, I okay. don't think you, I think you're talking of a tube that's just a straight line, right? Oh yeah, is that what you're thinking? 
Yeah. Right. Well, that no, no. This imagine like a hose pipe. Okay. And you fill it up with water. Mm -hmm. And the water in the hose pipe comes to a level. And this hose pipe is four hundred. The water, the water would be level <clears throat> at each end, wouldn't it? The water, not the right, tube. So just the water we're talking about the properties of the water here right right the so, tube is just a vehicle to place the water in okay i get it so you had two tubes then two water hoses well yes two water levels filled right. with water and the the hose were they completely filled with water was it half filled with water how did it work it was filled with water, so it, it came up to the risers, right? You know, like, so the water level can be seen. Right, so what I'm, what I'm picturing in my brain is you have a hose, right? And inside this hose, you have water that's level. not touching the, the very top part of the hose. So it's completely level from beginning to the end, right? The water level. Right. At each end of the tube or at any exposed part of the tube will be the at water. an equal altitude. Yes. Okay. That's known so, as a horizontal condition. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I think I understand what you're saying. King, King, King oh. hold on for a sec. The ends of the tubes are raised above the middle of the tube. The tube is not horizontal. It's not flat. The water, and you bring the water up to a level. certain level, up, whatever. The so ends of the, you got you got to imagine a big U, right? Not a right. not a line on the ground. You got it. Okay, a big U. Okay. Yes. Um, and there are two big U's then. Two big U's of. I don't know what Bev's talking about. He won't ever explain what he actually did, but that's what a water level is. Just a big U. Okay, and you can and look then at you, how far the water goes up one side, you can look at how far the water goes on the other side, and if you connect those two points, they're equidistant. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's, what is that equidistant proof? Equidistant from what? Yeah, that's where you got to go, and he'll never explain what, what do that proof. you mean proof. equidistant? It's a really weird word. Why would he say equidistant from what? Well, he's, he's saying that the level on one side of the tube and the other side of the tube, the water is at the same distance or at the same level. That's what he's saying. If that's the case, and that's the he said, he, he said equidistant, though equidistant from what? Equidistant <laughs> no, from the center. The center of what? The water level. Okay. But that's okay. ridiculous to say that so, they're equidistant from the center. Okay, so imagine, uh, imagine the two. Why would he say the, that? No, no. So let me explain that's to you. Okay, so there's a U. There's a, think about the letter U, and you say it's a tube. So you pour water into the tube the water would eventually the water on the left side of the u and the water on the right side of the u would be at equal distance right so let's assume you place the u on the ground and you measure the from the top of the u to the very bottom of the u where the, the center is the center of the u let's assume that was like 12 inches it's the same thing on the other side 12 inches right on each side if you pour water into the u um, the water will fill up the U because it's a liquid. So it will fill up the container that it's in and it will equalize, right? So the water on the left side of the U, let's say it's at six inches from the center, meaning it's half of the actual U, half of the left side of the U would be the same six inches on the right side. That's what equal means. Do you get that? That's what equal means. Right. That's what he's saying. So the, aside from the fact that you completely ignore the part about where it's a U-shaped tube, indicating that you have no clue about this test you allegedly Dude, did. you don't even know what a water level is. <laughs> don't be telling me. <laughs> I don't know you what we test that I've already fucking done. What this test Worst is. lawyer in of, the country. Dude, you haven't got a clue. Actually, Holy you shit, completely missed about tube. a crucial <laughs> part about your own tube. You, is, a, is a tube in a U-shape, yes or no? It doesn't I have said to it make. has four risers aligned <laughs> in geometric positions, right? It's a geometric test. Oh, my God. You don't even know what a water level is. So how are you Holy prepared shit. to enter <laughs> this conversation? He's trying to school you what it is. <laughs> he never even heard of it before tonight. He's trying to tell you what it is all of a sudden. 
That's hilarious. I'm not trying to tell him anything. It's the fact that he <laughs> makes a crucial part of his own test. Now, let's get back to the actual test. The shape of you don't even team. know what the test is. How can I have missed a well, crucial part That's what part I'm asking you to tell me. I'm asking Holy you to tell me. Shit. Oh, my this God. Is, is this test? Is this, this a is comedy? You say you had two twos. The two twos are shaped like a U. Yes or no? It doesn't have to be. It's irrelevant. Okay, is it is it a shape of the tube? Yes or no? Because he conducted a, t- a specific test, and in his specific test, what were the shapes of his tubes? <laughs> Irrelevant. Oh my That's god, bro! Hey, uh, have a look. Have a look in the chat. Have a look in the chat. Yeah, watch that. Hey, hey. see that? There see those go. water levels? See there that one? Go. It's got four risers. Now you see the uh, geometry that's going on there. I see it, right? Yep. So it's specific to that particular thing. Now, um, there's many other geometric tests, but we're just talking about a water level and the way that you can align these um, water levels to provide a geometric test. Now, if you could do that with one, do you imagine you could align another one and have a shared straight line segment with that wait, and wait, extend wait, wait. It. Hang, hang this, on. Do you, do you think you could fucking turn a camera like slightly to the sideways and fucking take a picture of fucking water levels and say that there's curvature? I'm, I mean, what the fuck? This is. No, it's a geometric test to show that the straight line lies within the plane. We just use a water level to be able to do it. Right, but no, people have been I'm talk- saying all sorts of weird things. I'm talking, to, I'm talking things. to Rupert Cowell or whoever the fuck shared this photo, like of these water levels being crooked. They yeah. tilted the camera one way, right? And they have like five different tubes all angling yeah. away from each other, and, and, and yeah, they're all angling like different ways. It that's it's it's just a tactic. Shit. It's disingenuous and it's just a tactic. They they do that now and then. But go on, Bev. Just keep continuing to knock this out the park. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. So the image p- posted by Sarugaki, is that the image you're referring to? I was referring to the image uh, posted by Rupert Cow. Is that the test you did? That's not. How could that be a test? <laughs> I'm just asking, yes or no. No, the, look, they're all next to each other. That's um, to show that we have the equipment and the ability to do They're all crooked and somebody test. turned a fucking camera slightly sideways. It was just a picture to show people that well, that's just, where the rises are. It, it, it's very disingenuous. It's not, that is not a fucking meters. honest photo. That is not an honest photo. That's somebody it's drawing a, a photo. line on a crooked photo. It's just a photo. Somebody's decided to um, put water is not horizontal. I don't know yeah. why. It's just okay. to show that we have the equipment and the date when we went to go and do the test. <clears throat> That's okay. all. There, I mean, anybody there, can do this. Video, sort of stuff. Is there a video I can see? Doesn't of this cost stuff? much. Is there a video I can see? Did you record this or yeah, at all? Yeah, I can or no? take that very easily. Okay, could you could you send me a video of this so I can actually see what you're talking about? Uh, no, we were out doing the test. It's okay. Um, we want, can go over it. it. We can go over it, and uh, people can do it and perform it for themselves. Uh, you, but there seems it? to be there seems to be a problem whenever you try and talk about this, and it's just a test. Oh, that's gee. why we did it um, to make sure that we could do it. Now, um, it caused so much problem. For people, um, I'm sure I'm sure it did, but I just need to sh- I just need to see the video. Did you record this test? Yes or no? Did we record the test? No, we when, were doing we, the we were doing the test. Now, um, we did. did. Have cameras we did. You? Did you live try to stream camera? it? We did live okay. stream it to now, Discord. Did you save the live stream? When did we were doing it, stream? no, because I wasn't stream. in the Discord, right? Other okay. than out on the side of the canal. Doing the test when okay. we were doing the test. Okay, perfect. Um, if you'd have wanted to have watched it, you could have watched it live 
in the oh, Discord. I did not know what was going on. I, I no, just need, no. if there's no video of this test, if there's no recording, if there's no corroborating evidence of this test, I'm, I find it hard to believe that what you tested for actually corroborates your uh, claim. Straight that line, the water line within a plane. All you have to do is tilt your fucking camera to one side or the other. No. This is a geometric yeah, yeah, test. That's all it's you got have nothing to do, to do with the camera. camera left, uh, did you level your camera? Nothing did you make sure your do. camera was level? It's got nothing to do with the camera. Did you did you level it's your a geometric camera from test left to right? Did you level your camera from left levels. to right to see where the fucking water fucking actually fell? I mean, you, did you not take into consideration that maybe there are certain factors? For what? Your camera tilting left to right. Nothing about the camera. This is a thing about water levels. Exactly. Physical reality. But if you physically geometric your camera test. one way, it'll make your fucking geometric test come out disingenuous. I mean, come on, man. Do you, do you know what the scientific method actually is? Do you know you have to take into certain factors like like they're not you, scientists. What are you talking about? We're just doing a geometric know. test in reality to prove that <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you lies within a plane. Make sure that your fucking camera was level. It's called uh, realizing right. Euclid. It's got nothing to do with cameras. Or right to left. This has got nothing to do with cameras. You seem obsessed with cameras. Crazy. Well, it's just a geometric test with the water levels. Now, what would you say? Would you um, say listen, that those listen, water listen. levels would lie uh, listen, on the same straight line, a horizontal listen, this, plane? This conversation reference. is absolutely stupid. I just want to see it's any recording or any corroborating evidence talking of about this, this test that you did. Because I've asked you numerous questions pertaining to how you conducted this test, and you, you, I don't think you actually explained it in a way that you know is fitting. Now, this is not me. I'm just saying. Maybe you did a test. Maybe this test corroborates whatever you're claiming. Giving you the benefit of the doubt, maybe this test proved there's a flat earth. Let me see the Doesn't, test. No, no, no. No, dude. The earth's not flat. Okay, well, I don't, I don't care. Let me just let me see the test. This, this was, um, remember at the beginning we said, if the earth is a spherical object, right? Call it a globe if you want. This just disproves the globe I, being a spherical I object. Care. I, I don't care. Just let me see the test, please. I'll leave it in your capable hands. We'll, we will be making the videos and well, doing I'm not stuff. capable. You're I'm not capable because I didn't do the test. Stuff. You did the test. You seemed to, you said it was a live stream, so you definitely had cameras out there recording. So if you're no, recording. I had, a, I had my mobile phone. I was on Discord and I switched my camera on while I okay. was on Discord. So you did not record or keep any validating... I didn't, no. Okay, so we have but no way got, to actually... We have got we cameras have no... and we've got all sorts of stuff, yes. We've got loads okay, of so, stuff, but I mean, so I say, no way this, to understand test, this test was just for us. Oh, well, that's fine. Perfectly fine. As it would be for you. You the, can, you the, can the do it. Now, do you want walking through how the test is performed? <clears throat> Well, I already tried or that. Are you, you just going to say that, that you know? I'm not you going to go it. through that again. I'm not going. That's, that was one of the worst experiences in my life because that was completely okay. chaotic. I'm not going through that Here again. Here we go. Right. I'm I'll asking. tell you. I'll tell you okay. the materials for this. It's just water and shit. No, no, hold on. Cost a hundred hundred pounds. Before, before you right? begin, and the you issue you is two of you with that, that, and you can perform this test too. Now, if there's four or five or six or seven or eight of you, you can link up together. This is a, one of those tests that just build on each other. Okay. It's about a shared straight line segment, horizontals. Okay. Right. So the issue is you've claimed to have done a test. Mm -hmm. You failed to actually explain what this test is, yet you've made and drawn conclusions about the test. Didn't I, when I've asked didn't you about I say what the that it was is. to show that a straight line lies within the plane? That's Proposition the 1, the Euclid, the the book 11. Test. Yes. That's the objective of the test. Yes. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you can have an objective. You can seek to prove something. That's a hypothesis, if you want to call it that. What I'm saying is I can't verify that your test actually corroborates your hypothesis. Why? Because you... you Failed to one explain the test in any detailed way, 
You failed to provide any video evidence of such test. You failed to provide any writing about what you did in, about the test. I'm, I'm, I'm finding it hard to believe that you actually did a test. I'm not saying you didn't do a test. I'm saying if you did, we have no way to know what this test is. Therefore, I cannot accept your conclusion about whatever you're saying. Do you That's believe it's possible for somebody in reality to perform a test that shows that a straight line lies within the plane? I genuinely do not give a shit. I genuinely don't care. You've done the test. You care about this. I, I, I'm assuming because you went out, went out of your way to buy the equipment after perform the test. I'm it sounds like you don't care. Why are you talking? Oh, I'm asking Why are you the evidence? one objecting to it if you don't care about it? Okay, King, I'm sure there might be other people who might be interested in it, possibly. King, but you seem King. to be taking the negative Sorry, approach. Sorry, someone else is calling me. What, what was that? Why do you want evidence of this test? Let's say it well, provides he, evidence for it. What's it going to do for you? Well, it actually allows me to understand the claim he's making, and then we can actually... Now, what what, what, what claim was he making? Uh, did you listen to the claim? Well, yeah, I did. And the, act, the, the issue was he was unable to actually explain the test in any detailed way, saying... No, but what was the claim that he was testing? The kind of test, if you can find uh, that the water line or the water level proves that there's a... that the, 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 the water is horizontal, that proves a horizontal line. But, but that's not what he said. That's, that's basically what he said, yes. No, it's not. You got to listen to what he says, and you realize, what the hell is he even talking about? Well, listen. I mean, yeah, I get that. Go ahead, Bev. Listen, though. Go well. What do you mean? Go on. Tell him what your test tried to demonstrate. Uh, that a straight line lies entirely within the plane. Proposition okay, one. And, and, Book yes, eleven. And every, and, Euclid. And when, every, and when everybody says. No duh. What next? What do you mean, no duh? Uh, that's no comma duh. Of course, a straight line lies within a plane. Why are you? Why are you proving the obvious? Um, it's kind of the definition somebody, of a straight line. Somebody challenged it, right? Who challenged it? Who in the who in their right mind would ever suggest that a straight line is not in a plane? <laughs> um, yeah. the people that say that circles are straight lines, perhaps nobody says circles are straight lines. So who? What do you mean? Nobody you says that circles are straight lines. Of course they're not. They're circles. There you go. Uh, one part of a straight line cannot be in a plane and another part without it. Every, every, everybody knows that. Solid you, geometry. Everybody I, I knows actually, that. I, I, that's I, what, that's, I the, that's that the one you... that you can actually prove in reality, right? We that prove geometry, in reality. The solid geometry of Euclid. Book 11. Who's, who's challenging that? Yeah, I heard someone here in the chat, Look, voice chat again. saying that uh, equidistant from the center is level. This is correct. No, it's not. Well, it's straight line. We're talking about a straight from line, from the aren't center we? center means round, circle, circular, not level. Uh, you can have a circle and it be level at the same time. No, circles are not level. That would be you can draw a circle right? you can't have on a, a straight of line paper. and a not straight line at the same time. You can draw a fucking circle on a piece of paper and turn that motherfucker level. Turn that piece of paper level, and guess what? That circle is level on that fucking piece of paper. Listen, I said that someone here said that equidistant from the center means level. Yes. Yes, it correct. does. So yes. I'm talking about that circle itself, not about its surface. No need to talk we, about we, circles. We, we agree. We're talking about yeah. straight lines here, lying within level, a plane. Level, level is curved, yes. 
the water level is a tool for establishing a horizontal is, plane of reference. Yes, level is are you saying, you, are you are saying we've used the wrong tool? I'm saying because you used it wrong, whatever results, you're trying to do. The results of it seem to apply to the straight line. Don't think the results of this test apply to curves. I don't understand curves. what you're doing. You, you, you just, you, you're, your thinking is just bizarre. No, no, we, we, it was no, just no, simple, nobody right? Challenges, we chose nobody the, challenges the, the, that the, you the easiest even... thing that we could actually prove in reality. A real but you didn't prove anything. What do you mean? What did you prove? That, well, the, that, the straight that you, line that... lies within the plane. Like What plane? What plane does it lie within? The horizontal plane. How do you know? Because of the geometric test that we did. Now, how, how do you know you created a horizontal plane? Because the horizontal because the straight not a plane. line lies within the plane entirely. No, but you have no plane. We do. We have a horizontal plane. We have a tool. No, you don't. Uh, that that's the thing. Provides and a horizontal plane of reference. How did you prove it's a plane? A horizontal is a plane. You can't just connect two lines With and say that's a horizontal plane. Realizing Euclid test. Well, but it, you, you can't do that. That's yeah. not how the world works. Yeah, it is. That's how I did it. I know. I mean, how did you, you do it? How did yeah. how did you prove uh, that it about, isn't? It's, it's not about did, that. How, you're, Scott, you're how did you brilliant. prove that a, horiz uh, a level, a water level, is a tool that doesn't establish a horizontal plane of reference? Well, aside from because that, the horizontal I'll... plane of reference makes no sense. Nobody thinks about that. Nobody thinks of a horizontal plane no. of reference. No. Are you all right, Scott? I mean, yeah, you may be yeah. talking about within these arenas and this little paracosm that you've made for yourself, yeah. but in the real yeah, world, no, no, it's, it's people know what a horizontal that. plane of reference is. No, they don't. Of course they no, do. No, no, nobody builds anything big, does. As all people who built a house, they know very precisely what that means, a horizontal Nobody who builds plane. anything big yes. does. Listen, oh, have you come built on, a house? Scott. They, they forget... They forget that what a horizontal plane of reference is when they make big no, stuff. No, they never Come cared. On. They, no, no, they never cared what it was. Well, this that's has got nothing mean, to do with that, big. That's something, just, something you do, Ben. Are you saying, nope, are you, saying you can't prove? In this world. We don't are you saying, Scott, okay. Scott, so we don't are you saying that you can't nobody have this? Gives a, I'm saying nobody gives a fuck about water levels but you. But it's just a test in reality. It's like all we've ever been though. going on about is it's linking geometric nothing. proofs to reality. But I mean, I, I if this isn't the area off. for I that, I mean, it will. I'll, I'll, it's all right, Scott. It's okay. It's, I understand it's, fully that this causes yeah. a little bit too much pain. No. <laughs> ECV. I'll I'll yeah, just um, I, 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 I'll just I like go away and that, have a, it's, have it's a chat in somewhere that people can talk about these sort of things. Yeah. Okay, so um, aside from the fact Which that... Which is wrong. Yeah, I mean, you're... No, you, Scott, are mode, wrong. You, later, the mode in which, you are the an mode acting in which clown in theater. If we have an Earth with a radius of 3,959 miles, then every horizon distance measurement will be 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height and feet. The altitude of the observer's eyes, or the optic, above that curved surface a tangent line from that optic to where it intersects the curvature of the Earth, the physical geometric horizon. You understand? Yeah. Cool. So when we observe the horizon in the image I posted, we see the horizon beyond 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height and feet. The observer's <clears throat> height is 3.25 feet, so the horizon should be at 2.21 miles from the observer. The wind turbines are in the image because they're at known distance markers and the horizons beyond them at a safe estimation of 12 miles because the furthest one of wind turbine what turbine is 11.2 miles away. So 12 miles. When we've got this optic that doesn't show barrel distortion and we gain in altitude from not seeing the horizon where it mathematically predicted and he shows an image of the physical curvature of the Earth, my question is this. When does the apparent horizon, not at 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height and feet, turn into the physical geometric horizon, as the calculation I just stated says? I don't think that was that was really helpful. But uh, what do you think, Blue? <laughs> well, it's showtime. <laughs>
Uh, and one thing what has to be emphasized, of course, is that a water level is not a tool for establishing a horizontal. It is a tool for measuring two points being level. And I think uh, Blue's also been good on this. I thought there um, was a If good you idea, want yeah. to use it to establish a horizontal, but it's not going to be a horizontal at either of the two pot ends, it's going to be in the middle, you then have to use another tool to... In manufacture a line to manufacture the horizontal you have to use through a camera or, or or some other device to generate the horizontal because the level doesn't it just gives you two points that are at the same elevation and that's it yeah, well, no right. horizontal involved well uh, if you connect those two points and, and you just said this a few moments ago you do establish a, a horizontal at the midpoint of the of the two points Yes, yeah. you need another That's tool. That's kind of the way I felt about By it. By itself, before. you do not get a horizontal. You need another well, tool. Well, if you, you want to you, end up with a horizontal, you um, then need another tool to do that, either no, a telescope oh, or something to, no. to look through it. It's showtime. Well, well. <laughs> Bevel will say 100% of the time that a water level is a tool that establishes a horizontal point of reference. I say, now, wait a minute. There is another definition of a water level. It is a device that establishes two points of equal elevation. That's what a water level is. So, well, yeah, but you're getting a lot wrong, I'm afraid, Charles. It's, 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 uh, that's kind of the way I felt. Then don't ask before. questions if you're not going to listen to the answer. Okay, well, go ahead. Go ahead. You ask. Well, you just made a claim that just with two pots you can determine horizontal. Tell me how I could do that and then say, right, the horizontal is here in the middle. I say, now, wait a minute. Between those two pots, how I'd do that then. Go ahead. I thought that was a good idea. So what are we what are we doing? What are we doing? What, what are we doing today, Charles? Proving that Bev is not a flat earther. You don't understand. And I don't think he, he understands. Right, exactly. You don't understand. And I don't think he, he understands. Bev is not a flat earther. Right, exactly. It's not my problem if you don't want to learn. And I don't think he, he understands. So today, we have the flat earth man, Charles. You could not generate a horizontal feature or anything Why? just with a water level. You need another tool to use to do that. Why? So by itself, it cannot generate a, a, a horizontal plane. Yep. Right, but then I need a straight thing, don't I? Okay, I chose to put, okay, I chose to, sh I, I let you get out of it by having a straight. Okay, let's not just say a shelf. Let's suppose I wanted to put a football. Oh, sorry, no worries. Um, that was midpoint and horizontal between the two things. You couldn't do it. I, put, I, I, I chose a shelf, which of course is a, is a horizontal, is a straight line thing. So if I pick a non-straight line thing, you can't do it. You know, water, using water to, to, to make a horizontal plane. Right. That's so, not possible. Uh, right. Because Bev is not a flat earther. Right, exactly. don't understand. I want to put a shelf that's horizontal to those it's two things. How would I do that with just those two pots? You can't do it. They constantly force themselves into de denying the idea that you can have an angle between a curve and a straight line or between two curves. Of course you right. can. That's fundamental in mathematics. That's fundamental in mathematics. There's no fundamental error. We're just simply avoiding being a pedantic prick. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, sure. Over, and over distance, you see some really strange things. You end up looking down to see something that is at an elevation higher than you are. Yes, word. that's exactly what happened in California. Right, sure, exactly. Lining the tops of the, of the water up in two vessels that are 60 feet apart gives you a line which we know is technically horizontal and it's that that line of sight is technically horizontal don't understand. it's showtime <laughs> right exactly right exactly it's not my problem Uh, Bev keeps on saying this is a tool to establish a horizontal. It's his favorite phrase. I'm going to use that probably even more than horizontal no level. No logic, no wisdom, no worry. Horizontal level. I think it's important to point out that You're this is wrong. Not. It's not that. No reason, no logic, not no answers to the question. And so that Bev You're just on your own. Another point, verticals are lines and not planes. That's another key thing, whereas horizontals are planes and not lines. That's true. 
Right, but that's but but a vertical plane isn't <laughs> isn't defined that way. The the, the, the plane itself is, uh, is is vertical, which means you know if you were to draw a line orthogonal to the vertical plane um, and then measure the you know measure the angle uh, to that orthogonal, then you would you would see that one is horizontal and then then the plane itself is vertical. Anyway, so blue, you want to yeah, move on? Yeah, let's. Uh... <laughs> Well, I don't think that was that was really helpful, but uh, what do you think, Blue? <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs>